Good morning, it's Tuesday. Welcome back to the Den of Iniquity. That is Ken Shavy and BSing, home of your big shave best champion. And this morning, we're going to take a break from the blade test to do some beta testing for the Defender Razor. This is the Defender. It's a three-piece razor. And the interesting piece of it is that the blades are independently, well, not completely independent, but they flex, so they can go with the contours of your face. They claim, of course, the easy rinse out due to the size of the blade. Uh, the cartridge and that it doesn't tug and pull like a traditional cartridge razor or at least as much i guess the hysteresis factor probably still plays a role but you know we'll find out so this is the handle but this is not the blade we're using so we're going to pop this one right off you just press like so drops right off because you fit into that slot right there you see my finger going behind it the blade. Now here's the new beta test cartridge. Came with a little uh, little blade bank as part of it, or a little cartridge bank. So we're gonna cut that open, open it up. And since we didn't do it in there properly, let's put the blade in there now. So the blade is smaller, so oh, it does fit. Okay. They claim the gap is a little tighter. Blades are redone. So there we go. So you see it is black right now. It has a slightly different, it's a, not contoured, but it's a little slide bar. It's not a lubricate thing, but super smooth um, material. It looks like it's a little tight. Let's see how it shaves. So we'll get that back on the mount right here while we get the face warmed up. So the, uh, I keep saying so, I gotta stop. I got two coworkers that always lead in with the word so and it's getting in my brain, man. My method for the beta testing this blade is going to be, I'm going to use, see I guess I only really have two methods. Um, I'm going to do it first traditional wet shaving way with a soap and brush and I'll get to the soap in a second because I got a new product that I'm going to send a sample because somebody asked me to, Tristan, if you see this, on Shave the Man or whatever. Um, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna use pre-shave, I'm gonna use a soap and a brush, and then tomorrow, the next shave, I'm gonna use a modern set of products that I got a discount code to try out from a company called uh, Wadi. And this is their moisturizer and post-shave balm. And I have their face cleanser and a brushless uh, cream to put on. Now the reason I'm gonna do that is because when I got in a conversation with Wadi, when I first saw ads on, I believe Facebook, and then contacted, emailed, you know, they offered like a 45. Uh, if you bought all three at one point, there's a 45 percent off coupon. So anyway, so I bought that. Now now they came out with a for eight people like a 50 percent coupon. I'm like, damn it, if I would have waited five more percent. But anyway, I'm enjoying the moisturizer so far, by the way. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. So we're going to do a modern test, we're going to do an old school test, and then we'll, we'll, we'll lather, rinse, and repeat so to speak, and see how far, now I don't have like, I don't have a shave, you know, goo in a can or Barbasol cream, so I can only test it one of two ways without being ridiculous and just using using a pre-shave only to shave with, or, or you know, I'm certainly not gonna shave dry. That'd be ridiculous. So. All right, so we're gonna leave some of this on. So the soap today, yeah, I popped for it. Australian Private Reserve Kulava. As you know, I am kind of a sucker for Aventus type scents, and this is a twist on it. Mostly Aventus, but very pineapple forward in my opinion. Kendi, stop that. I hate when they, dogs start licking me, it's gross. All right, so let's get lathered up here. Green Ray brush from Phoenix Shaving. So I've heard so much about AP, uh, about the Australian private for APB, Australian Pri IPR, APR, dad damn APB, all points bulletin for APR, hello. So let's get lathered up here. It's already kicking up a nice lather. 
125 mils. This wasn't cheap. I got it through Maggard. This is one of their more expensive offerings. But I've seen, you know, Chris Baden use it. Spencer uses Spence Shaves. Uh, Spencer Frankel. Uh, Ruds. I mean, it's like I've had other other guys that talk about Vince's sense. They've recommended this. And it's just just insane that I mean that I don't have it, so I treated myself to it. Looks like I got plenty of water in the brush to just start going in. Green Ray, of course, 24 mil triple. Hybrid synthetic, so it's part fan, part part bulb. Apparently I had plenty of water in the brush. Well no, maybe we could add some more. I heard great things about this soap. Like I said, being a sucker for Ventus scents. This one's really fresh. I guess the variations on the pineapple forward notes more brighten it up. Definitely, definitely on the fruit end. If you like pineapple, a little bit sweet. Just say good. It's a good one. I don't think I need to add any water. I, think I had enough of the brush. This looks really good. What do you think? I bet. <laughs> All right. Now. The Fender Razor, three three uh, three blade head, get it warmed up. Super light, beautiful for travel. This would be a great travel razor. Very smooth performer, yeah. Wow, and this soap is slick too. Oh my goodness. One day's growth. I didn't want to test it on the four because that would be, you know, throwing it into the, the fire right away. Like its performance so far. Oh, back to the. I'm sorry. I, I had one of those. I left. I left the conversation dangling there. Reason for my testing methods is I had an email conversation with Mo from Wadi, who's the founder. I say Waddy, I don't know if it's Wadi Waddy. But, so they said, there's a poll out, how do you shave or whatever, or put I shave, and I said, well, I mostly am a traditional wet shaver. I use, you know, DE razor, sometimes single edge razor or straight razor. Rare cartridge nowadays, depending. So when the Fender came in, the beta test made me think, why not use, why not use different methods to test the razor to see how it performs on your face? Uh, well, one day's growth. Pretty good. I mean, 
definitely a quick shaver. Let's see how it does in the second pass, because, I mean, a width of grain pass really doesn't do much, but let's test it on the second pass here and see how we get. So, super slick soap, very nice. I'm not gonna do three passes with it because I don't wanna tear up my skin to be able to do it. I need to shave tomorrow because that's meeting day. Really digging the soap. <laughs> All right. So rinse is very clean. It was very pleasurable passes that's going on. So super comfortable, um, super comfortable passes here. Really close to my trouble spot. Yeah, good job on my neck. Yeah. Solid, solid. <laughs> I'm not feeling any tugging and pulling at all. One advantage they have is their price. I mean, I think they're, I think for their innovation, I mean, you pay a touch more than let's say Dollar Shave Club for their four cartridge sets, but not much more. I like, like, I think a couple bucks more. Handles super light. I mean, it flexes, it contours, it doesn't clog as quickly. They also make a handle that's got a cartridge on each side, and I guess you can kind of use it for a head shaver, and it's real, uh, it's, uh, He's gonna slick this from the soap, which is outstanding, by the way. 
yeah, it's a it's a it's a very comfortable shave. Without going against the grain, just rubbing down. Oh, go, go. Yeah. Really solid shave. Super comfortable. I'm probably going to have a little feedback with the album block, only based on because I did some buffing. But. My neck area, where I usually have to work a little more. It's really close, my face. I like where my face is for a, for a workday shave. Let's get to a rinse. Sorry. Oh. Now let's see what our feedback is from the Allen Walk. Right around here where I where I did some extra buffing. Very comfortable. I mean Okay, I'm getting a little little now that's settling in, but not a lot. I mean I mean I've had you know it was, it was a comfortable shave for sure. Of course this is a one day's growth after a really really good three pass four day takedown and I just put three blades on my face. So honestly I'd say very comfortable shave, very slick feeling, no tugging, no pulling. A definite good workday shave. I think if you're gonna get what, what we call in the community the BBS, the you know the baby butt smooth, we have to work at it for sure. But I don't see any Skin pilling or anything like sometimes I get with cartridge razors. I'll let that dry down the thares. Easy enough to get under the nose. Really slick. Very pleased with my first uh, my first test here of the uh, beta beta test uh, plate from or test cartridge from Defender. So, so far so good. First, first day's test, thumbs up. Cooler Boss Soap also did its job. And we will finish up our post shave here. Let's try some. So, I've got the matching aftershave splash. Good restrictor. Looks like this has some glycerin in it. Yeah. cap that off. And a little menthol too. Menthol and of course the alcohol. Glycerin. No, I'm not going to need a balm. You know what? Just because we use Australian products by the way, a little stray whisker after balm. A little love for con. Oop, a little too much balm. <laughs> uh, moisturize the hands a little. Uh, we'll use this for just a little moisturizer then. Oh well. So there we have it. All right, Defender Razor, first beta test. Excellent. Um, no tugging, no pulling. Damn fine shave, shave, as we say in the wet shaving community. Green Ray Brush from Phoenix Shaving, need to rinse. Australian Private Reserve Cool Off, very nice soap. Very nice. Slick, cr 
creamy, protected. Didn't have a massive amount of feedback, so I appreciate that. So beta test one again, smooth, uh, very good glide. Did not feel any tugging or pulling. Uh, very, uh, two passes, uh, say a really good shave. Uh, yeah, unless I get the post shave on, you know. So I don't rub against, you know, which you, you might expect more anyway. But in the scheme of things, good mark so far, uh, Defender Razor. So, uh, feedback one, video done, uh, and testing video, and I will be uh, also emailing this to Defender in their feedback email. But thank you all for watching. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Cheers to sweet to all the good brothers and good sisters out there. Love you. And I will see you for tomorrow using modern shave products versus old school shave products and the Defender Beta Test Video 2. And then we'll get back to our Blade Review series in a few days. Take care, friends. Bye.